hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great so today i'm back with a new and sizzling junk food one shot for all of you please do not take it seriously and enjoy it if you are new then don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks while signing some of important documents which were brought by one of his employees his side moved to his cell phone when he heard it is ringing a smile plastered on his face to know it was you excuse me he dropped the pen and picked up the call yes my sweetheart he leaned back on the chair and opened a button of his black colored blazer cookie what are you doing wine asked him I'm making cupcakes by he replied seriously wow since when did you start this side business cookie why me i was kidding i'm in your office so obviously i must be watching here right he shook his head and i was kidding too like i'm here just like cursor you smart forgive me my highness my princess he sighed Anyways, will you do me a favor? He said in the most innocent tone to him. Of course, babe. Just tell me. He melted then and there. So, please come home about it. What happened, Angel? Are you alright? He frowned. As you never call him in between his working hours. No, just come back and I'll tell you everything. You acted like you just had a breakdown and you internally loved knowing well he would never resist when you asked him for this. Okay, I'm coming in 10 minutes. He got a little worried and without caring about his busy schedule, he went straight to the parking area. And he just drove to the mansion. Entering in the house, his eyes searching for you, but he could not find you. A maid came with a glass of water for him to whom he asked. Where's wine? As she was about to answer, he heard his voice coming from upstairs. Jungkook! Excitement could be seen on your face as you ran on the stairs to come down. Baby, cheerful, cheerful and slow, he yelled and ran to the end of the staircase towards you. Vine jumped onto him and he caught you. The maid were silently laughing before placing the glass of water on the table and then she leaving both of you alone. While carrying you, Jungkook sat on the couch along with you sitting on his lap and he picked that glass of water. He made you take a sip and gulped it after. Hmm, so why did you call me and what exactly happened to my doll? He took your palms and planted a soft back. You are so handsome, Kirk, you know. You are the best person in this universe and I love you a lot. You nervously smiled, making him proud. As you suddenly started to admire him, he knew something was fishy there. Stop buttering just and tell me. He held your cheeks softly and you cleared your throat. Kirk, you know, sometimes... We don't use our brain and do whatever our heart wants. Don't tell me it's one of your stupid ideas to call and manipulate me who come immediately home. Junko twinkled his eyes with a not so angry expression this time for you. You are smart too. I'm impressed. You awkwardly smiled as he made a crying face due to the amount of annoyance he had to handle. Why did you do this fine? 
he went and you just cupped his face into your little cute palms. You know what? Jankar Wang said. My favorite laundries got delivered today and I was so eagerly waiting to showing it to you. Jungkook scoffed. Hearing what you have said to him, he was in disbelief. Seriously, tell me why you are joking to me. No, I'm not joking. Yes, you are whining. No, I'm not. She again denied it. Why? Jungkook. They were calling their names. I'm giving you five minutes to run wine otherwise. And I'm giving you two minutes to get up and just come with me. You stood up as he sighed and I tiredly got up. Okay, let's go. You held his hand and you just dragged him to the bedroom. He just removed his blazer and laid on the Soft mattress while resting the weight of his body on his elbow. There you opened a huge box of your favorite items with anticipation and few never ending giggles, which was his treasured view. Then, starting from the beginning, you showed him each and every single thing. And the usual like a teacher was just teaching her kindergarten student in the school. And he was attentively listening to your lecture knowing well it has no role in his life. Still he was paying attention like his whole life was gonna change to heaven after knowing about all these colorful printed lingeries. Which one do you like the most honey? You asked after showing him all. Babe, they all are looking good. They were saying he was confused to say something and amazed to know how you care about details when it come to your own books. He knew about it. So Vine gave him a deaf glare. Jungkook just mumbled. I mean, I think there's a red one. We will look so pretty on you and when we will go to Thailand you will wear the all there, okay? Van got excited after this new promise me you'll allow me to wear that there. Of course I will allow and one thing more Van for now I am going back to the office. But 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 you have to welcome me tonight by wearing this leopard printed laundry. Vine blushed after listening to this and he just came to her and fringed her with wool. Jungkook gave her a cookie. Vine moaned and put them back. Go, honey, she said. Okay, I'm going, but remember what I have said already to you. Jungkook left for the office with a closing bedroom door behind him. One was thinking about it. Tonight already I'm blushing because she's sure really that it's gonna be there together. Thanks for watching. Bye.